Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. We are undertaking the Fort Frostmoth uh, quests, and I have a confession to make. I continued through this cavern, uh, and I got my ass kicked repeatedly by the boss of this place. So what we're going to do before we head down is we're going to try to backtrack a bit to make sure that we've got everything that we absolutely need. Now, I know that there's another exit from the upper levels that I think I would like to look into. It comes out up there, I think, wasn't it? Oh, here's... here is... Uh, there's a barbarian that needs to follow me. Come on, follow me. I have no idea why he is not following me. Go on. Go on, or on dear. Alright, apparently not. Um, but yeah, remember there was like a another exit to this place? Or another entrance to this place? Um, in that prison area? I'm gonna head there and I'm gonna go into the alternate ed the alternate exit. Alright, the mine is probably where that alternate exit comes out at. I seem to have lost my barbarian. He is not following me anymore. He got hung up on some... Uh... See? It, it'll come out up there somewhere. So let's see what that has to offer. And then I'll try to get my barbarian back somehow. So I'm going to need all the help I can get. I wonder if my other character... So I thought there was another character in addition to him. I wonder if I can pick them up again, too. Alright, I remember this part. This part sucked. Yeah, remember I was in here and I had three people. And now I only got one. But this is the area with the secondary exit, so let's go there. Alright, hidden door. And I've got a lot of mushrooms. Alright, come on. It is very close to where I was last time. So far, so good. It's pitch black and I'm still really short on mana. But I don't think it's going to matter. Ah, here we go. We got another character over there. Well, hello, Jean here. Thank you for finding me. The mushrooms have kept me alive for some time now. Lead the way and I'll help any way I can. Well, thank you. And he's got some mushroom pieces, a bedroll, which I don't need. So now all we need to do is figure out how to get our uh, barbarian um, moving again. Okay. And I think I just lost my... No, there's one of them. Come on, where's another one? I know there's another one. Where are you? Come on, follow me. Where the fuck did he go? Is he trying to come around the long way? Seriously, am I only going to have the one NPC? Give me a sec, I'll figure this out. Alright, I had to babysit him down here and he spawned in stuff for a minute. But it seems as if going in and out of doors can can pop these people back in. Which means there's still hope for the barbarian wherever he is. Come on guys, follow me. Alright, this leads to the upper caverns where I left my barbarian. Okay, got both of my guys. No idea what happened to that other NPC. I lost her in the last episode, and I have no idea where she left, or where she went. Alright, now you're unstuck. Come on, follow me. Come on. So I got, what, three... three people, supposedly. Is that gonna help? I got no idea. Probably not, because the guy that I'm gonna face up here is just that kick-ass. 
spoiler alert, but uh, I guess uh, from my intro you probably should have guessed. This goes to the lower caverns. Did I get everybody in here? Yeah, they're all like intermingled. Okay, what's over this direction? Nothing! Oh fuck, there goes my torch. There's a, a deep... a deep pool. Come on NPCs, you can make it. Alright. There's one down. Looks like there's gonna be more skeletons in here. Right. Come on. Take it out. Just a bunch of undead in a tunnel. Not bad, not great, but not bad. I think my torch done had it. Yeah, if I want light, I'm going to have to get another one. That's all right though. I can just go by the uh, light I currently have. Right. Yeah. Okay, so with three characters, I am ready to continue. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Down here, we've got some sort of tomb entrance, and it's got the... Uh, the Dwem... Uh, not the Dwem... The, uh... The dark elven kind of uh, architecture. But then we've got these two side patches up here, which I'm going to investigate real quick. Because I need to know if they've got anything in them that I can use. Okay, it's not a passage, it's just a waterfall. It's not a passage, it's just a waterfall. I guess not. Let's go ahead and head on in, then. Actually, knowing what I know, and I'm probably going to wipe several times here, I'm going to make sure I got all my people. I only see one person. Where are the others? There's our second person. Come on, where's our third one? And why do I still got combat music? Come on, seriously, you're gonna tell me that I lost my caster? Like, my best person? What the fuck is this? No, game, you can't do this to me? No! I tell you what, let me get all my people together. Looks like it's just the one. Oh, this sucks. Well, they're not going to last long anyway when I go in, so I may as well just uh, head to the door, save the game, and uh, you'll see a jump cut because I am going to... Uh, basically try and try and try again until I get the damn thing down. And you'll see what I mean shortly. So, see you on the other side. Alright, I've had the opportunity to go ahead and save the game. I have no idea where my re remaining people are. I'm gonna go ahead and rest until healed. Now, knowing what's in there ahead of time, um... This is my first try. We'll go ahead and equip Umbra. Because we're going to need it. We're going to go ahead and... Um, use Spell Absorption. And we're going to go ahead and use... Uh, I think that's about it. So let's head on in. Into the tomb of Fort Firemoth. Now, as you can see right now, there's going to be a lot of skeletons coming in from the sides, but you'll see a dark figure up there, and that dark figure there is for a reason. He is the great A badass lich that I've come in here to kill. He has a high end shield, he has a high end damage shield around him, and he has a high amount of luck and spell regeneration. So, Right now, as you can see, my people are getting owned. 
I'm gonna have to try to heal myself. I haven't absorbed anything yet, but the issue is is that his uh his spells can one shot me. Okay. Shit. Did I just hit my own person? See what I mean? He's killing my people left and right. And he almost one shotted me. I have to get Hearth Heal up and heal myself a couple times and try him again. Alright, well, holy crap. Alright, we'll get Hearth Heal up again and I don't have the mana for it. So we're going to use, uh, you know, try Potion of Spell Absorption again just to get it up. I don't have anything to heal myself with. So, um, yeah. Okay, he took out my, my, uh, backup, which I'm going to take as gold. He does not have any healing stuff. Okay, goddamn. Let's loot this guy. What's he got? Nothing. Let's loot the other guy. What's he got? Gold and um, cheap restore health. We're going to guzzle him. Okay, where's the restore health? Cheap restore health. We're going to go with cheap restore fatigue and... That's quality restore fatigue. Anything else on him? No. Oh, he's got a Daedra da dagger. Fuck that shit. I'm going to grab that. Okay, first piece of Daedra gear and holy shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. Did I absorb something? Yes, I absorbed something. Not enough, though. Boom! Not enough magicka. Come on. Thank you. Now I got enough. See, he can just go ahead and do this to me all day. So I could theoretically just stand here and try to regain my magicka. But I'm not absorbing a whole lot. Because it's not... It's, it's like a really low casting cost spell. Holy shit! But it somehow takes my entire life. I no longer have enough magicka to do it. So as you can see, I'm about to die. I do have some cheap store healths. I'm going to down them all real quick and down the other three. Okay, come on. Now the ideal way to take them out is to... Uh, is basically you have to reflect lightning on them. But I do not have lightning reflection. Boom, and I'm almost dead. I did not absorb that. For some reason, I'm not absorbing jack shit here. I absorbed that. Yeah, I don't have enough magicka. It didn't give me enough magicka to cast my spell. That is a problem. I gotta try to absorb a one-shot kill here. When I'm See, I'm so low on health. Ah, well, I tried, and you can see how I got my ass kicked so many times. I'm going to leave this one in here. The next time, you'll see the, the, the uh, whichever one it takes me to kill him. Alright, and welcome to try number 24. Except for the last try. The, the last few tries have been pretty good. My best was a couple tries back. I keep getting down, him down to about half health. I think I can get him further than that, but I really have to try. I've got to tighten everything up, basically. So what I'm going to do at first is stay back and kill these skeletons as they come up. Try not to kill my own guy. Oh, fuck, I hit my own guy. My own guy keeps jumping in front of me. Okay, now, in order to, to uh, deal with this guy, I'm going to get spell absorption up. I'm going to bring my ring of lightning bolt up. And my health is almost down. So what I've got to immediately do is pop Golden Saint using my scroll. Pop Summon Skeleton using another scroll. And, um, wow, I've actually got some magic in the bank. So let's try not to use that entire bar of magic of failing heart field. Okay, so far so good. We will switch to our Silver Spark Sword to try to get some drops off on him. Over spark sword if I get some box off on him. And he's in the middle of my own people. I hope I'm attacking the right person. 
yeah. This is kind of this kind of shit right here. I don't know if he's absorbing all that or what. What I do know is that this is a pain in the ass. But he doesn't seem to be attacking much. He does not seem to be casting much. This might or might not be the team. I think he's bugged, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with that because quite frankly this is oh fuck I didn't mean to hit my own people. All right, this is the best I've done so far, and he has not been casting like at all. I'm gonna switch to Umbra because I think my sword's out. Umbra sword. Okay, so far so good. I think I just lost one of my summons. I'm gonna pop another golden saint. And you know what I think happened? I think the golden... Okay, golden saints proc uh, appear with a uh, random magic weapon. I think what happened here is that he appeared with uh, with a, some sort of silence weapon. Which is I'm not complaining about. Come on, are we going to win? Are we going to win? Is this a win? That is a... W Come on. That is a win. Come on. Yes! Finally. That is a win. Grrrn down on... What, what What did I say this was? 23? On attempt number 23. And I think it was all because the Golden Saint that I summoned had some sort of silence spell on him. The Ward of Akavir is what he had. It's one of the reasons he was so fucking hard to hit. Fortifies luck, 25 points. And that is a... It's, it's, it's a win. So, let's quickly quick save it. And most of my people didn't die. I think I lost one person upstairs. That's it. Let's see what this asshole that took me 23 plus tries. I'm not even counting the tries from the other day. 23 plus tries to take out. Um, yeah, let's, let's get my... I don't have a torch. Do I have a torch? No, I don't. What's in here? Nothing but bone meal. Got anything behind the altar? No. Let's see what's over here. You know, I've got enough for night eye. I can, I can pop a night eye. Or maybe not. Okay, here we go. Night eye is up. We've got a scroll of elemental burst. Got urns, which I think only have bone meal in them. Got a bunch of whatever this is, fire petals. Totally not worth me taking. They're only worth two. I got some sort of sword here. Iron Viper Sword, I'm not going to even bother with it. I got a uh, Silver Flame Axe, which I'm also not going to bother with. Uh, well, let's see. Got a pile of skeletons over there. Got a couple more scrolls. A Scroll of Invisibility, which I'm going to take. And a uh, Scroll of Flame Bane, which I'm also going to take. Now, if that had been Lightning Bane, it would be a different thing. Another Scroll of Flame Bane. All of this fire resistance shit, and he casts freaking lightning based spells. So, take that as you will. Now, what I'm going to have to do is uh, leave the place. I gotta leave. I gotta walk all the way back. So, I will see you when I get back to turn the quest in. So, on the way back, I may as well tell you what you're supposed to do during that. You're supposed to come in, see how you're getting owned, and then come back loaded for bear with a bunch of anti-lightning shit. Especially some sort of lightning reflect or any sort of spell reflection will own that guy real quick. Or you can get silent spells. He's really resistant to them, but if you've got a silent spell on like a weapon, like that golden saint I think had, then it ends up happening like what you saw there. He was not bugged, I believe that was silence. And uh, the real question is, do you want to go spend a lot of money preparing for him and time, or do you want to just hit 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 him hit him with a random number generator until uh, luck goes in your favor? And I got to be honest, uh, I would probably uh, actually prepare in the future. And uh, if I had to do it again, I would go back and prepare, because that really sucked. I was basically trying to kill him over and over and over again, until suddenly, you know, got lucky. And that's not the way to do things. That is totally not the way to do things.
Um, yeah, I'm actually looking around in here to see if I missed anything. There's uh, some sort of uh, fail casting spell. And now I'm stuck. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a, a door. Or there, there, there's like... Uh, I don't know what's going on here. There's something on this map that's not showing up. There's like a room that's not... Yeah, it's not showing up. Wait, there's a hidden door. Holy crap. Yeah, it always pays to look at the map. Nice. So what's in here? In this hidden away area. You got an Imperial Steel Right Pauldron for 39. I think it's worse than what I have. You've got in more Imperial Steel. Imperial Steel Greaves, 39. What have I got? Steel Greaves, 37. So there's an upgrade. There's an upgrade right there. I gotta throw my old ones out because I cannot carry them both. Imperial Steel Left Gauntlet, 39. I've got Dwarven. Okay, lots of Kwama eggs. Lots of Scuttle. Imperial Steel Random Crap. This is in the barracks area, so if you are coming through and... Oh, there's a stairway down. Nice. Let's look over here. Anything that's enchanted, anything that I need. Imperial Steel Curious, which is what I'm wearing, I think. Got Imperial Broadswords. We have here. We've got uh, restore quality restore health. I could have used those before I went down. Always check helps to check the map before you go down. And I got a torch which I'm going to equip. Come on, torch. There you go. All right, let's see what's down in this stairway. Anything else? Um, it is leading somewhere. Oh, into another storeroom. Alright, so in here we have baskets. Scuttles, basically food supplies. A bunch of glass bottles. Some sacks with a hundred gold. Nice. Sacks of gold! Alright, not complaining here. Not even gonna complain. There is a lot of gold on this table. Let's take a look up here. We've got an exclusive restore fatigue, a bargain restore fatigue, a couple cheap restore healths, and a couple quality restore healths. Very nice. And I think just more food stuff in these sacks. Yeah. Um, I am over encumbered by like two or whatever. So I'm gonna drop something that weighs some, something that weighs me down. Or you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use one of these armorers hammers. All right, used all my armorers hammers. How much space did that clear me? Quite a bit, like 15. All right. Oh no, not don't tell me they're individuals. Oh, they're stacks of gold. I have no idea how much gold I'm picking up, but I'm picking it up because it's nice. Oops, I don't I, I don't know that I needed that bread. Alright, a bunch of gold. What is in these? Nothing much. Alright, so that was actually worth coming in for, just just for the gold. That was like, I think about a thousand gold. Not bad, by any measure. Alright, let's head on out and I will see you back at the other place unless I run across anything else. That was on Frostmoth Guard Quarters. You know what? I'm an idiot. I realize I have silence. Only the five second version, but I have silence. I could have probably been using that on him, hoping to get it off. I don't know how well it would have done because it is, uh, it's illusion and my illusion is subpar. How do I get off this place? I can't see shit. And there's our ship. Yeah, I know I said I'd be back when I got back and turned the quest in, but 
That was a little bit longer trek than I expected, and that shit looks so, so nice when I'm coming upon it in the dark with the thunder and, and lightning flashing in the background. Uh, I'll take a look, and you may not even see this if I get, if I get to editing and find out it's too dark. Oh, where's my, where's my shipmaster? Where is my, yeah, where's my shipmaster? So yeah, the shipmaster wandered off. God damn. What a time to just wander off. Did he wander off or did he get killed? I can't find him. All right. Um, I couldn't find the uh, the guy with the boat, so I just used one of my scrolls of Elm CV intervention to get back to Balmora, and then Your just took the Silt Strider back. Now, it's worth noting that it's always useful to have some of those scrolls. Uh, I recommend carrying several, and some scrolls of divine intervention. For those of you who use medium armor, the Ward of Akavir. Let me take a look. Which is right here. Yeah. The Ward of Akavir is a pretty solid little shield. Ignore the armor rating that you see on mine because I uh, have shit for medium armor. It is a dragon bone shield. It is a pretty awesome shield. If you're using medium armor, go ahead and use it. I'm a heavy armor user. I have no use for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn the quest in. Okay. It is imperative that you return the Ward of Akavir to me. I've got it. There you go, and he even equips it. You have found it. After all these many years, at last the ancient emblem of the Legion's honor is restored. Here is your reward of 3,000 gold with my thanks, and your valor shall be noted in my dispatches to the Imperial City. Safe travels, my friend. So he has given me three grand, which is not bad at all. And I believe his uh, it boosted his, his uh, disposition with me. So, I have no idea how long it's going to edit down to. I know the fight itself only took a couple minutes. I know there was a lot of stuff before and after. So, I'm going to call it here. You may end up with a short episode. You may not. Who knows? I won't know until editing. So, uh, this has been The Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more old school video games. Until next time, take care and goodbye.